Hello, you guys, and welcome to my channel. We are doing a daily plan with me. And yes, I am doing a voiceover because of audio issues. So for my new viewers, welcome, and my returning viewers, welcome back. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And yeah, let's enjoy today's video. So we are doing, like I mentioned, daily plan with me. We're using two floral sticker books, Happy Blooms and Flowers. And then I also have Working Remotely and Sage. Working Remotely and Sage are the main sticker books. And then I just want to kind of maybe throw in some flowers into one of them, both of them. We'll see. We are doing October 12th and 13th in my daily planner. So my daily planner is essentially built of the daily planner that was released from Happy Planner plus the extension packs. So this is one of the months. It does have that little butterfly in it, but most likely that butterfly will get covered up. So I decided that I'm setting up the 12th and the 13th to include an hourly block section. My initial thought was using washi, but the washi just didn't line up. So I decided to go ahead and just write it in. I will be writing it in starting from 6 a.m. to 10 p.m. And I, since I want to write it in, I do want to have like a little schedule Header. So I decided to use one of the stickers from the hand lettered basics. Um, I'm using sage and I also decided that I wanted to use some florals, but I, as I was flipping through the book, I really just couldn't settle on a floral. First I would want to use one and then I'd want to use a different one. And I ultimately settled on those pink florals. I don't know what kind of flowers that they are. They're just, they're pink. That's what matters. So we're gonna use schedule because it's green and that matches with the sage. I was also kind of flipping through the sage to see what other stickers that I wanted to bring in for headers. I didn't wanna use any of the fancy font just because it didn't match the font of the hand lettered basics, but I did ultimately decide on what to use. So Sharpie Rollerball 0.5 for the dates. This does not bleed through, so I do love using it. And it's a really good fine tip um, from Sharpie, so really dark ink as well. So the reason why I decided to use a hourly block section is because sometimes I like to just kind of time block when I'm going to be doing my chores. So my thought was that I can be able to kind of mark from this time to this time as work, this time to this time as for chores, use a highlighter to just section out the, that time. When it came to the flowers, I had used sage and florals in a previous spread, I believe, for my dashboard. It wasn't these same florals, but I really, really like the sage with the florals, so that's ultimately what gave me the idea. I ultimately settled on using the florals to just kind of create a border on the very bottom, mainly around the hourly section. And I think overall, I like how it turned out. So next is figuring out how I want to use the bottom of the page. I ultimately decided that I'm going to use that for my social media to do's. Normally I use like a really big box and cover that up or I cover it up with something decorative, but this time I decided to actually align some stickers horizontally with those boxes um, as well, adding it in another floral sticker. And now it's kind of figuring out that I need to see if there is any other headers that I can be able to use. A lot of the problems with these headers is that the colors just didn't work with the spread. But I think during this, I was ultimately looking for headers to use for chores, for any kind of priority things that I wanted to get done today. Like I mentioned, I really, really love this hand lettered font and I wanted to use it on this spread. Okay. 
headers found. So now it's kind of figuring out how do I want to actually set this up. So number one, let's go ahead and put an important up there because I want to spread around these headers and then chores and then priority. So chores tend to be the little measly tasks that I need to do around the house, whereas priority can literally be used for anything. I also decided to go ahead and use these gold bullets um, to be able to designate for the items. And one thing that I see a lot is, and especially in Bujo spreads, is where people will take those dot grid sections and they will basically separate it out into two. Have to write a little bit smaller, but at least I know for a fact that I will be able to make really good use of this space and not feel like that hourly section took away from being able to use the spread functionally. I do intend on writing certain chores in both my chore section and on the schedule because that's ultimately how I'm going to be able to plan out my day. So one more bullet and then I think I'm calling that done because now I have plenty of room to write and I'm just kind of figuring out if there's anything else that I want to add to the bottom. But I also need my quote. So white out to get rid of those letters. And then I just put the quote over the black circle. Um, it, it doesn't really bother me if you can see it through there, but I like it. All right, one last final flip through. I just want to make sure that there's nothing else that I want to use because I was still looking for some headers, which I did ultimately find. So now I can just be able to write in YouTube and Instagram, and then I basically have those boxes ready to go. And we are done with the 13th. We're done with the 12th. Just kidding, not the 13th. So now let's go ahead and punch because I did go ahead and do some stickers over the mushrooms and this way I won't have to worry about punching it at the very end. Now we're going to the 13th where I decided to use the working remotely. I wanted to really incorporate flowers into it just because I love using florals in my spread but spoiler alert the florals didn't happen. There were certain florals that I was trying to find and I couldn't find them. So I just basically chalked it up to that I've already used them in a spread and this is why I need to hoard stickers more often. All right, let's go ahead and do my daily schedule for Thursday. So we're starting again 6 o'clock and going all the way to 10 p.m. In this one, I did decide that I wanted to use some washi at the bottom, so we're not going to use like florals or anything like that, but the washi will give it a nice decorative touch. And then it's just kind of figuring out what else can I put with it. Um, I don't always use a white back sticker for my upper corner quote, but I really, really like this one that says, first I drink the coffee, and then I do the things. And I also decided to pair it with washi just to kind of bring in that little decorative touch. Plus the sticker didn't cover up the whole circle, so I needed something else for it. When it came to that bottom left corner, I decided that I wanted to use two more functional boxes, but instead of laying them horizontally, I would be laying them vertically. So this is me just trying to figure out which stickers that I wanted to use. For some reason, I kept going back to the florals when I even decided that I wasn't going to be using them. But I finally decided on a box and I decided to use the top three for both my YouTube and my Instagram. And then I can also write down like what I needed to record. So at this point, I'm still just looking for a box to use. I was really kind of trying to figure out which color that I wanted. And ultimately I found it because mainly I just wanted a dot grid. 
So we are good for that. Let's go ahead and white out the butterfly because I'm not going to be using him and I'm probably not going to be able to cover it up with a sticker also. I decided to do the same sort of thing that I did for the other day where, um, where the reminders is. I just went ahead and used it for chores. I was also just kind of trying to figure out what I wanted to do with the sticker. It really didn't work the way that I was hoping, but yeah, we'll see when I actually go to plan this day. So brain dump, I'm not going to separate it by chores and priority. It's just going to be a big old brain dump list. And since I know that the work remotely does not have bullet points, I just decided to use one of my pens. It's like the little dot circles. Um, it also bleeds through, so I had to be really careful and just make sure that I pressed it down really, really lightly. But yeah, that's what I just kept it simple for my brain dump list. I'm going to bring in a black top three so that way I can keep the color up there. And I think at this point I was just kind of looking to see if there was any other stickers that I wanted to use for the spread. I mean, it turned out to be a super simple spread, but I really, really love how it looks. So let's put the pages back into my planner. We have October 12th using sage and flowers. And then a couple from the hand lettered basics. Really love how this turned out and I think it's gonna be super functional. And then we have October 13th for rock or working remotely, both of them including a hourly layout. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you like it, give it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button, you guys. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy the next video.